Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about TypeScript. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick Christensen, TypeScript is definitely a benefit. Can you tell us why this is your favorite language? Well, I'm glad that you asked. So, this qu this qu question was posted on one of the videos that I made about should people learn Rust, basically, or should you learn Rust as a web developer? And I, to spoil the fun for you, basically answer that no, if you're looking for a job at this point in time, Rust is pretty pointless. But in the same breath, I say that I love Rust a lot. And I count Rust as one of my two favorite programming languages, TypeScript being the other one. And I always find it hard, usually, to pick between the two, because in my point of view, this is very early stage still, uh, the potential with Rust brings basically the whole co programming community to a point where if we get Rust to the right spot, there will be no reason for you to use any other language for practically anything that isn't strictly related to JavaScript. And that brings us to TypeScript. So TypeScript is still my favorite one, and for a set num number of reasons, so basically what I wrote back to the subscriber was that from my perspective, the reason why TypeScript is so powerful is because it, it adds a perfect level of type, uh, uh, basically a type system, a type system that makes sense on top of JavaScript. And as long as the browser is around, you're not going to get rid of, type of uh, JavaScript. Uh, we would literally have to face a sh such a fundamental change in the way that we do work on the web that, let's say, let's just pretend, let's make pretend and say that WebAssembly becomes this new de facto standard that we do absolutely everything in. Even if that were to happen today, the time it will take the entire web to move over to that as a default thing, well, you can imagine that it's going to take quite some time, considering that we still have like Java applets, we still use jQuery, and like there's still people using old browsers. Like it takes a really, really long time to get this done, and that's just assuming, of course, that it would make sense to just do everything in WebAssembly. I personally don't believe that that's ever going to get to. The, it's never going to get to that point. I think, honest to God, the reason is very simple because there's so much much other stuff that JavaScript is associated with, such as ads and metrics and all this other good stuff that simply is not part of what WebAssembly is designed to help us with. So that is the argument that I use for the fact that JavaScript isn't going anywhere. It's also the only language on the planet that has the buy-in from absolutely every single major IT company. It is the only language which I can confidently tell you if you want to do anything with web you're going to need that language. This means that anything that you can favor, every single language, doesn't matter which backend language you use, is going to include JavaScript if you want to do anything on the UI level or anything in the browser, which is what most of us are doing, right? So adding TypeScript gives us a scalable way of making JavaScript applications or building JavaScript scripts. It doesn't really matter what you want to do. And this has been the fundamental issue with JavaScript for the longest time. And that's why I think that TypeScript is, go is the perfect... Uh, it's my favorite language because now you can use a type system that is not trying to make JavaScript into something it's not. It's not trying to become Elm. It's not trying to uh, like you're not trying to completely change the entire language, which is not a good idea if you ask me at the very least. You're simply adding on top something that has been missing and it's also being supported by Microsoft or rather it's being developed by a very stable company such as Microsoft, which is also a very good thing. So it's a serious language, just as Rust is a very serious language developed by our good friends at, Fire, uh, at Mozilla. So. That brings us to why I think, that, uh, why I personally feel like, honest to God, it's been so many times where I've felt that it's kind of boring that I don't get to do more things in, say, Rust, because the fact of the matter is that it's always going to be easier for me to do it in TypeScript. It's always going to go faster. It's always going to... It's the same thing with practically any type of development. Now, of course, I'm going to be a little bit honest here, and we have to factor in how comfortable you feel with things. But, I mean, I used to be a Java developer, and I, you did PHP before that. I've done in other languages, and I can I always come back to the same thing. If I'm going to do a like a normal web application of any type of thing, even if it's a script, 
I don't like why would I use anything else I can basically just I mean the one argument I could you you could give me is that sure Python is if you're gonna do shell scripts stuff like that then Python is a very good thing because you don't have to install that extra dependency but usually I have node installed on my laptop and stuff like that and JavaScript has so many libraries that I kind of just default to it that's of course my personal thing but if we're gonna talk more objective points I would say that from a community perspective from my hiring perspective like getting people who know that know JavaScript education we're talking about right just learning resources how do you learn how to use this language why like, how can I get help get figuring things out there is no one on the market there's not a single language that has that that level of development no one can claim that I mean not even Java these days is has resources as well developed as JavaScript and TypeScript by extension. The same thing goes for performance. Like per default, Node and like uh, Node and uh, any type of development you want to do in JavaScript is going to outperform the other corporate languages. It's like if if we're now of course assuming here we're talking about like standard web stuff. The same thing goes for flexibility. There, it's platform independent. You can run it anywhere. Like it, it, honest to God. I will go as far as to say that if we, and I actually said this to the subscriber as well, I believe that if we just consider the technical perspective, the only thing that needs to happen for, for JavaScript and Node and that entire ecosystem is that we need support for Big Decimal. Once that's taken care of, it becomes a very feasible thing to do ma money storage and like storing big numbers with where we need to have a high level of precision, such as as I was saying, money, which is a problem. It's always been a problem. Calculations and math isn't really all that great in the JavaScript standard, but it's getting better. Now, once that happens, I will go as far as to say that there would be no reason, like no technical reason, for anybody to do, like to build another job application. You could just use Node and TypeScript because there is nothing that you can do in the job like you will be able to work faster because the like you can switch i mean remember it's a scripting language guys you don't have to compile shit you don't have to do anything of that and there are more libraries for and this is something that is a pretty big deal if you think about how massive the java language is you have more stuff to pick from in javascript and typescript and so forth and the adoption of TypeScript is like enormous at this point. I would say that it's if you do anything with JavaScript, the like the adoption rate of TypeScript is insane. I'm, I'm lit. I it is the most insane. So you think Go has a high adoption rate? No, not in comparison to TypeScript. No other language, as far as I know, has moved up. Like I think they the just last year it moved seven seven st steps up the ladder in the Stack Overflow's uh, report on popular languages. It is really getting traction like really really getting traction and i would not be surprised if it becomes if we're gonna get it's practically honest to god i think that in a sense we're already there it but uh, i'll give i'll give some wiggle room because it's not a hundred percent accurate to say that it's a prerequisite for you to know typescript to do anything with javascript it's not but it's getting to the point where if you're doing serious front-end development or something like that, people kind of expect you to know things about TypeScript because that's how many people are moving over to it. And the thing about all these other, these benefits, the community, the hiring, the education, performance and flexibility, and also pro personal productivity, because if we assume that you're equally good with TypeScript and Node and so forth, as you are with the other languages, you can, as I said, you can switch. You don't have to compile things when you're in the experimentation, f experimentation phase. You can actually work as if you were working with a scripting language and compile it when you actually need to. The, all of these things, like there are some languages that are better at maybe one or two of these things. If we just look at specific things, like the performance in Node may not be able to rival all of the uh, all the other options that are out there in terms of languages but if you look at the whole picture if you just look at all the benefits total there is not a single language today that has anything to say about uh, the node typescript ecosystem and like just uh, in general that language no other language is is this diverse and has these man this many benefits and this amount of flexibility and as i said once the big decimal problem is taken care of there is I, I really don't see any reason why you would use like I mean it, it, it where if we're not able to build it today 
we're very close and within a few years we're going to be able to build practically any type of application in the user space at the very least with these languages or with the TypeScript. So what I want you to take away from this is that the reason why I love TypeScript is very simple. It is uh, together with the Node ecosystem and like all the things that are going on in the JavaScript space, there is not a single language where you will have a larger community, a bigger pool of developers to hire from, more education resources, you will have performance that rivals most of the other languages by default and you can even push that further if you want to. Nothing is as, as flexible. You can do IoT, you can do web, you can do desktop applications, you can do mobile, you can practically work on any platform. Every single major IT company supports the language. The entire platform is basically a community project which is more stable than anything we have. No other language can claim that. And the personal productivity is sky high once you get into the ecosystem. There are things that are bad for sure, but these are, I think, some monstrous benefits that no other language really... I mean, you can tick a few boxes uh, from this list in other languages, but no other language is going to tick all of them. It's just JavaScript and TypeScript and Node that can do all of this. And that's why I think that once the problem of money calculations and so forth is taken care of, the only remaining issue is that the processes and the way we do work in the JavaScript ecosystem and with TypeScript, it needs to mature. And that's what we need. That's why TypeScript is so important, because before we didn't have a way to actually get to a scalable application structure with just JavaScript. That can now start to happen with TypeScript, but we have a long way ahead of us and we need to educate people. If you want to educate yourself, go and look at what Java and C Sharp and these traditional corporate languages are doing, because if we can get even a half of their processes and learnings into the community of JavaScript, TypeScript, and Node, and so forth, they're like, uh, I, I will just say it, then there is no reason why TypeScript and Node and so forth won't take over as the default choice for practically all corporate level development. Have a great day.